So I just got to my buddy's shop and today what I'm hoping to do is uh, get all the pieces cut out um, for the hat channels that I'm going to be making. It's a little bit cheaper to uh, make them myself, obviously a little bit more work involved. I'm willing to do that. So we're going to be cutting out all the, uh, the vertical hat channel pieces. And then I'm also going to be cutting out the little U-shaped pieces, which are going to actually act as a sleeve for the hat channel, the new pieces connecting to the original bus pieces. We're going to be waiting on some dies to come in. So we're going to be just cutting them out and cleaning them up today. And I'll come back another day once that uh, those dies are in, and then we'll be bending up everything. Definitely going to be throwing in the AirPods and uh, getting all that just knocked out. All right, so behind me, we're actually cutting out the hat panels themselves, which will be cleaned up and then bent later on. back in the shop got our new dies in here and so I've been testing you know a few test pieces here um, through very uh, critical measuring and definitely not a bunch of trial and error finally got the measurements and everything I need so the next step is I have 32 pieces of hat channel that need bent up I'm gonna do them all in two sets I'm getting ready to do is going to have the it's going to be the the short tab of the hat channel and for the second set i'll run them all through and do the middle bends and those will all be the same we got a big day let's go ahead and get started So I'm gonna go ahead and get all these tack welded up today. I'm just taking the inserts and they're gonna be going in, just tacking them in place. This will help hold them in place. And then it gives us a thicker area to really be able to burn that weld in. The day is finally here. One of the first things we're going to be doing is removing all of the side windows. So every single side window is going to be coming out. We're leaving the uh, windshield and then the rear windows. We're also going to leave the little windows up top for right now. And then we have to take out every single rivet on top of here. And there are a lot. This whole belt line will also be getting removed. Uh, the goal is to get the windows removed, all the rivets chopped, get the bus braced, cut, raised, the new inserts put in, welded in, so it, the top is supported on its own. We'll see what we can do. It's about eight o'clock right now, and uh, I'm just gonna get to it. One, two, three, four. That didn't take long at all. I have all of the windows with the exception of the driver window removed. This one's just a little bit trickier. I wanna say less than a half an hour working time. 
If you're not getting rid of your windows, make sure you take them out to reseal them. The way these popped out, I mean, they were not, they were not holding or sealing very well at all. So I'm gonna pop this last one out and then I'm gonna start pulling all these rivets out um, of the bus. The whole top row, I mean, there's, I don't know, over a thousand and then the whole bottom channel and then you see all these plates these are covering the hat channel they have to come out too all right so got all the windows out got my air riveter and let's just start hacking these out. punching out the centers of the blind rivets, my uh, chisel slipped and hit the glass. It's flat glass, shouldn't be terrible to replace. It's just not something you want to replace if you don't have to. If it's going to happen anywhere, the top corner of the passenger side is probably where you'd want them, so. All right. I finally got all of the rivets. I might decide to go ahead and wait until the morning to actually do it. Oof, wouldn't that be pretty? Sunrise roof, roof chop. Uh, yep, I'm gonna go get some food and I'll get back and have to make some jigs and, uh, and uh, prep some things, weld some things and we'll get going. All right, I'm in the shop and gonna be working on some of the components for the rays. Now, a lot of this is left over from my last roof rays that I did on my bus. I'm gonna be cleaning them up, kind of getting them ready, updating a few things that uh, I've kind of learned from last time and, and just kind of taking the best of everything. A lot of the stuff that I pull from, it can be referenced from schoolie.com and then Chuck Cassidy uh, is where I get a ton of my information. I'm not trying to teach you, they are great resources, but uh, there are a couple things that I do uh, that I prefer. I think there's an easier way uh, to lift the bus that I like a lot more. Uh, it takes less people. So this is the uh, straightening support um, that I made. We can clamp onto it, it keeps everything super straight and these are actually sliders. Again, Chuck Cassidy does this. I think schoolie.com does this. Um, but you kind of weld two plates, and this is actually uh, one plate on the bottom, one plate on the top. One's fixed to this rod. As you're lifting the bus, this helps keep it in line. Um, so real heavy duty plate and everything. I'm gonna get all these cleaned up, clean off all these spot welds, cleaned up here. Uh, so we can do new welds onto the 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 bus itself. That's probably what I'm gonna be spending most of my evening tonight doing. Oh, I'm also I got metal blades for my circular saw. What I want to do is make a jig that kind of holds this in place, and that way I can plunge cut into the hat channel, so it's nice and square. And then just super easy, just put it in, cut down, and have a nice clean cut. Yeah, so I'm going to start getting all this stuff cleaned up. 